Hi guys, hope you're well. I'm back with a sort of basic staple pieces you should have in your wardrobe for workwear. I was asked to do this video, so I am doing it for you. This particular video will be focusing on coats, blazers, shoes, and bags. I will then do a separate video which will focus on dresses, trousers, shirts, tops, that kind of thing. So I wanted to break it up and we're first going to start off with coats. So for the sort of staple piece in my wardrobe, I have this really nice Mac. It is from H&M and the neutral tones are just great because it can go with just about any color. As you can see, it can go with the gray that I'm wearing today. And it's always good when you're going to work to look nice on the outside as it were, because this is what's starting your outfit off. And if you've got something beautiful underneath, you take it off and it's like, hey, you know, it looks really, really nice. So this comes just to my knees, I do believe. And it's lightweight enough to take me through from sort of spring to the summer sometimes and through to the autumn. So it really is a kind of all rounder. But that's a really, really nice basic piece to have in your wardrobe. So this piece, although it's basic, it's got a bit of pizzazz and it's always good to have an alternative. So one day you can go with your kind of, I don't wanna say plain, but your sensible outfit. And then the next day you have something that really kind of stands out. So this is a navy blue coat from ASOS. Now from the front, it kind of looks like just your normal standard sort of Mackie type coat but it actually flares out at the bottom and it has this beautiful sort of corseted detail at the back and it always gets compliments, it always, always does. This for me is a basic, yeah, it has that extra something, something to stand out. So it always has sort of like two of the same thing. In terms of blazers, you should always, always, always have a black standard blazer. This is mine, it's from H&M again. Again, it's inexpensive. I love this because it's just not your standard black kind of blazer. It has the lapel detail here, which is, sort of like a silky material, yeah, it's, it's quite tough. It is tailored, it has not a button, but a kind of like bra, bra um, hook attachment, which just makes it look different, which is really, really nice. Black blazers are just a must if you're going to a meeting, if you're going to train someone, if you've just got something important to do, it's always good to have a blazer just to make yourself look smart, or even if you feel like having a day where you just go in and you're like, yes, have a black blazer, it will always come in handy, you will always need one. It is the most vital, staple piece that you can have for workwear. And if you know me and my channel, you know this jacket. So again, nice to have the standard black jacket, but have a statement blazer, have one. This is my statement blazer. This is when I'm in business. This is when I'm going out to impress whatever it is I'm going to be doing. It has the power shoulders. It has the peplum. It has the cinched in waist. It just looks like this woman is coming to do damage. That's what it looks like. So always have something that takes you away from just that standard look. So you can really switch up within the week. There's nothing wrong with switching up, but you just have to remain smart. Bags, again, they complete an outfit. I'm a complete bag lady, so this is my forte. Um, this is a black standard bag from Zara. It is actually from the city bag range, and their city bag range is really, really good for work. It's extensive, but it's really good, and I've actually got most of them, so you know. But um, this one, it's big, it's got lots of different compartments. As you can see, if you don't like your big bags such as this, then I have an alternative for you. It is this recent purchase from Primark. It is only £10, but look how expensive this bag looks. It's got the gold detailing here, the gold hardware at top. It's got little handles. It also came with a crossbody strap for those of you who kind of like to wear it like that and without having to carry it. I personally don't like the crossbodies. I love to just have little handles like that so I can just walk about like this. But look how that looks. It's just beautiful it's small so for those of you who like sort of compacted bags then this is perfect for you as i said stay smart but switch it up have a bit of color in your wardrobe <laughs> that's coming from me imagine um if you're wearing all black as i mainly do then have something beside it that is colorful which is really really nice so again this is from the city bag range in zara this is what i carry to work today and that's how jam-packed it is i had a lot of stuff that i had to be carrying around today so this just does everything it needs to do. And again, it just offers a difference. It's still very smart, but it is colorful and it just adds a bit of pizzazz to your wardrobe. So have something that has a bit of color, but is still smart. Now I'm a complete heel freak, as you may know from my name. <laughs> have a basic pair of black 
heels or pumps or whatever you're wearing. This pair is actually from Matalan and you can just see I've got gel in the sole so I know that I can run around with them. They're not very high, I usually wear much higher but I just wanted to show you my kind of basic flats. I know I can wear them to the office, I know I can wear them to court, I know I can wear them to meeting, whatever I'm doing, they're very, very good. Basic pair of black heels is a must and they don't need to be fancy as you can see. You can still keep it basic but add a bit of pizzazz. So this has got detailing at the front and it has two straps across these are from Zara and that's the heel height and they're painted leather as well so it just gives a different dimension um, just different textures different materials so it's just nice to have that difference in your wardrobe but you are still keeping it really really smart if you can get away with having a pair of heels that are a different color then do these are just a pair of blue but what I will say, if you are going to have something like this, keep the actual style of the shoe simple. So as you can see, they're kind of like a court heel with an ankle strap. There's nothing more to them. But what I would usually wear is all black and then this. So I wouldn't have, I don't know, a red lip or something. I'll just keep it very, very basic. And then bam, we've got the shoes at the end. So I hope that was helpful, guys. That's direct from my wardrobe. These are pieces that I wear. It's not made up. This is actually what I wear to work. So if you've got any questions, please leave them down below. And also let me know what's your favourite kind of staple when it comes to coats, blazers, bags, shoes. What's in your wardrobe that you just go back to time and time again? As I said, I will make the second part of this video. If you want me to make any other fashion related videos, please leave comments down below. And for those of you, I shall be seeing you on Saturday. For the rest of you, I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye.